Welcome back in. It is 613 right now. Thousands of people in Maryland have had trouble paying their utility bills since the start of the pandemic. Now an organization that helps them, the Fuel Fund, has gotten a big donation. WMM Air 2 News' Lauren Cook has all the details in this morning's Good to Know. Thank you, Christian. Paying bills is a struggle for many Marylanders right now. That's why Atlantic Coast Mortgage and Owings Mills is stepping up to help the community and ease the burdens of the pandemic. With a relatively small amount of money, you make a really meaningful impact in someone's life. And that's what spoke to us. And we hope others will, um, you know, do the same thing. You don't have to, you don't have to be a million dollar donor to make a difference. Senior Vice Presidents Neil Swearin and Scott Eisgrau made personal contributions to the Fuel Fund of Maryland. They also collected donations from family and friends, and the response they received was amazing. It just took off. I mean, we put in $3,000. We expected, you know, that our company, who's, who's great in this arena, would match it. Um, and they did, and they, you know, challenged us to raise more money. And they did that more than once. So we raised about $25,000 to help families that are hyper local and important to us because it's our community. Neil and Scott raised more than $25,000 and were able to pay off 32 utility bills for residents facing shutoffs in the Owings Mills, Reisterstown, and Pikesville communities. They hope their efforts will inspire others to support the Fuel Fund of Maryland that's working tirelessly to help low-income families facing financial difficulties. Our main goal is to help people keep their lights on, keep their heat on. Um, our goal is to take someone's BGE balance and get it down to zero to give them a fresh start. Uh, we want to be able to um, help them get out of a crisis situation. If you would like to apply for assistance or make a donation to the Fuel Fund of Maryland, more information can be found on WMAR2news.com. Donors can remain anonymous, and you can also specify what neighborhood you'd like your donation to help. That's today's Good to Know.